Oh my gosh. Okay. So, do you, do I need to record my audio? No, 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 you're good. No, you're good. Okay. You're good. You don't have to record anything. I just record us. All right. Yeah, this is you don't gotta do nothing. You, you just gotta relax. So you just gotta talk. I'll just sit here and talk. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's the that's podcast. That's relaxing. That's the podcast. Shit. Just speak your opinion out. Unless you want me to cut it out, just let me know. Uh, that's all right. Whatever. <laughs> cool. Cool. Yeah. I'll defame myself right here. <laughs> this is the end. <laughs> of me. <laughs> I'm just gonna put all caps. Exposed rolling gamer. Is he really who he is? Hashtag PewDiePie. No. <laughs> you, gotta <put> drop, <laughs> you gotta drop the PewDiePie, PewDiePie clickbait. Tag. You gotta drop you the mention PewDiePie. his name. Get insta fame. Mention his name, get insta fame. Yeah. <laughs> almost, broke, almost broke everything. Hey guys, welcome to the Midnight Grab Bad Podcast. I'm your host, Taylor, and I'm with my co-host. It's me, Victoria. And then we have our lovely special guest down there. It's your boy, the Swollen Gamo. Gamo. <laughs> can you can you put like uh the whole siren um sound effects? Like beam beam. Yeah, beep, yeah. Beep, 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 the air beep, horn, beep, not siren. Sorry, <laughs> I panicked because this was live and I said siren, but I meant air horn. Yeah. Okay. Sound All right. Bye. They know I'm here. They know I'm here. This is YouTube.com slash Swallow Gamer. Swallow Gamer. If you guys I know I'm here. If you guys happen to not know the Swollen Gamer, he's a they're one of the gamer YouTubers and all the jazz. He's famous for his FNAF mostly. No, I was kidding. God. <laughs> Bring all oh, I don't wanna, I don't want to relive that era. Twenty three K subscribers yeah. are still growing strong. Yeah. Well, luckily, thankfully, it's been it's been a long road. You know? Took a took a long time to get here. You got you did it, mate. You did Lots it. Lots of blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> Mostly oh, blood. Yeah. Probably some oh, vomit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I I've cried more times than I could count. Because this, of how hard this channel has broken my balls. Have you cried blood yet? Yes, out my butt hole. Oh, oh my um, you can see a doctor. You're, are you, are you, you on your, no. are, yeah, are you on your myriad? I thought this was, you know, like a judgment free zone. We're not judging. Uh, it, it is. I'm just making sure you're okay. Is yeah, your, we're making sure oh, yeah. you're fine. No, I'm totally fine. That's supposed like. to happen. <laughs> oh, it's oh oh like we're females. We don't know, Victoria. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, okay. I don't know how. I don't know how bleeding works. I don't ever bleed. <laughs> I have no blood. I have chronic nosebleeds, so that's great. Like in biology. Oh God, really? Yeah, like, for real. Yeah, for real. I get like I have. Oh no. Like, it just <laughs> happens. Can you tell when they're? Like, can you tell when they're happening? Like about to happen? No. Oh, that's so that'd be uh... so. Cool. It could be the best day ever, and I could be like on a roller coaster, and then my like nose starts bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> no, like. Uh... I'm at... Oh, that'd be so cool if you could tell when it would happen, though. You just spray it all over everyone else yeah. riding I, behind like, you. I was in biology lab two days ago, and we was, like, doing an experiment, and I had and I was looking over our little... We was doing mixing chemicals, and then I, my nose started bleeding, and my blood went into our chemicals, so we had to start all, all over in our lab. Oh, wow. Uh, That's maybe don't do... Maybe I you need did. to put nose plugs in. I, like, my teacher said, you need to put nose tampons in. <laughs> you you need to stop this. This is illegal. It's illegal. It's like she let oh us. At least it's a three hour lab. Well, so we we had enough time to start over and stuff. I felt so bad. I didn't know it was gonna happen. My bad. Jesus, that's insane. <laughs> yeah, I have bio lab too, and I want to kill myself. So oh, there's that. Don't. Mm. It's my second bio class I have to take. And then I, it's even worse because I'm almost graduated. So it's like I did all my major classes, which are actually interesting to me. And then I had to go back and take this bullshit GE general course. And it's just killing me. Oh, but I can't complain because I have a pretty uh, simple schedule this semester. So. Same. My class is from 12 to 3. Uh, that makes sense. 
in high school, so hey. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Young school from in here. Uh, seven, I'm in school from seven thirty eight until two thirty PM. Two thirty. Oh, that sucks so bad. Uh, I don't so I don't sorry. miss those I, days. I do not miss high school at all. I love I love being in high school. It's so great. I love death. <laughs> I love death. <laughs> That's why her yeah. name is Death Tori. Not even just not even just the hours that you were there, but just honestly, the everything people, goes bad. The literally, culture, literally. I hated it. There is so many fights. There's so many people like bringing weapons to school. No, no, no. See, that's the that's the fun stuff right there. <laughs> so, you know how terrifying it is when you like come home from school one day and then you look online and you're like, kid was arrested for bringing a knife to school, almost killed two of their classmates, and I'm like, okay, <gasps> maybe not that part, but the fights are pretty entertaining. I mean, yeah. there's some. I always, yeah, I always, I always miss them. Like for some reason, I would just the day I wouldn't come to class was the day that the fight happened. So. Like, they happen, like, every day, like, ten times a day. Like, it's all the time, and it's like, come on, calm down. Like, literally, I think there's a fight every day. A kid got tased at my school by a police officer. That oh, was, yeah, that was I saw that on the news. And I know that school kid. do you go to? Honestly, I don't even know. I don't even, like, I'm not even in a bad part of town, and I'm in L hell all the literally time. Literally, after my gra Jesus. class graduated, the school went to shit. <laughs> it, it literally, and I hate it. And is it May yet? Can I be done? Can I leave, please? <laughs> My I want to be uh, free. <laughs> my favorite memory of the high school we went to was that we have a short security. Uh, our school was on lockdown one day, and he went outside in front of the school, and he's a short security guy, like probably like four feet tall, and he had this big ass shotgun, and someone took a picture oh my of the short guy with this big ass shotgun over Hold his on. head. If I, if I find it, I'm gonna oh send God. it in the. Oh chat. my gosh! Please spy that picture. That what was like my favorite. Was, I know which officer. I know which officer. Officer, it was. Yes, because that was my favorite moment when I saw that picture. He's like, he's also, gonna protect like, us. There was like a squirrel that got electrocuted and shut off all the power. Oh yeah, the squirrel that. No. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. All the power went out because of a squirrel shooting through the wire. You know, like... Literally, it was it was a mess. Oh, got it. I already have the picture. <laughs> oh, post that picture. Oh my god. <laughs> post that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to uh, see this gentleman. Uh, can I just send it into the yeah, normal? Like, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh my God. Nobody, if this is gonna be so out of context. I'm sorry to anybody. <laughs> he's this man, and he's just chilling. I think I, I think everyone will will enjoy it. <laughs> like honestly, this shotgun looks taller than he is. <laughs> oh my God! What the hell? <laughs> but, yeah, it's like literally he's the same so height. Small. He's so small. He's so Why small. Why does he have a shotgun again? Because well, we had, like, intruders. I think Wasn't that when, like, the drug dealer, like, there was these kids that came in with drugs? Yeah. Kids came in with drugs, and then we was on lockdown for intruder alert because apparently somebody broke into the school. Or, yeah, because there were, like, drugs and weapons. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's some intense shit. The, yeah, we never had school. that. And, like, this year, we have had, we literally, the first, like, four weeks of school had a fire, uh, like, fire drill, quote-unquote, every week because something in the kitchen caught on fire. <laughs> That's just good. Or, like... Huh. We have we have gas leaks in one of our buildings like every like every month because nobody knows how to shut off these gas things. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's wow. just like, they're what? about they're about to kill you guys if they keep having these. Honestly, gas leaks. I'm gonna end up dying. I think I'm already dying in the school. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, so let's go to our next segment Honestly. on the podcast after high school life. We're gonna talk about <laughs> some <laughs> gaming news in the house. One of the top gaming news is that Yon Dairy Simulator has officially partnered up with the company Tiny Build. Some fans are not too excited about it, but I feel like it's a good thing to happen to it. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. I thought I think that's probably the best option he could have done uh, in terms of partnering with somebody. Yeah, Tiny Build's great because they have the creative stuff, Hello Neighbor, and all them. And look yeah. how successful they've been going. <sighs> I mean, I, I actually watched his video on it, and it seemed pretty reasonable overall, like, mm -hmm. in terms of what their business relationship is going to be, so. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know what people are mad about, bro. It's probably freaking... I think because they little... don't want to pay money. I think that's all it is. Yeah, but, I mean, the game was never going to be free. Yeah, the name was... Yeah, see, it had to, like, raise money somehow for him to, like, do the stuff he wanted to do for it. Yeah, I mean, it's not even a game right now, which is the only reason why it's free. I mean, yeah. he makes free builds. But, uh, yeah, I don't... 
I don't know why people are mad about it. I mean, I think it'll have more content available when you have to pay for it than what Hello Neighbor has. Yeah. And Hello Neighbor is like two times as much. It's like $30 yes. to get Hello Neighbor now. And it's not even, they haven't even updated that thing in like two months, which is kind of sketchy. I mean, I know they've been busy with packs and stuff, but. Yeah, yeah Hello Neighbor, uh, the next, uh, the next build supposed to be popping up March 8th, I think. That's what oh, I really? looked in the gaming news. Shit. Yeah. I gotta be able to look out for that. Gotta yeah. cash in. You got like <laughs> six days. Yeah, so for like a couple days. Yeah, it says right here you're supposed to be in March, like early March. The next part is supposed to be coming out. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Hopefully. I mean, did we even have a build in 2017? No. I think. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think. Uh, I think Alpha 3 came out in December. Yeah, because nothing just new came out this year for it. Because again, they, yeah. huh. again, they can, again, they've been preparing for packs. Get on it, tiny build. Get on it. Do My YouTube job. isn't gonna grow itself. So do your job. Do your job. It needs, it needs neighbors. It needs all the neighbors. Honestly, though, like before, Hello Neighbor blew up on my channel. My, nothing was happening. Yeah. Very minimal growth or anything. I didn't so think. I, I didn't think Hello Neighbor was gonna blow up so quickly like this. I didn't either. Oh yeah. Like I saw trailers for it before, and I was like, oh, I, I mean, it's like that's an interesting game. It's interesting, but I didn't think it was gonna be as big as it is now. Yeah. Like Yon Dairy uh, Simulator, I was the same way. I was like, I didn't think it was gonna blow up like that. I feel like they just designed that game around all the elements that appeal to uh, the game, the types of games that do well on YouTube. Like they, like they designed it with YouTubers in mind for sure. Yeah. Like everything from like the deep lore and little Easter eggs that they put around it and this Here. secret cryptic stuff, you know. They're literally giving YouTubers ammo to clickbait their video titles. Yeah, apparently <laughs> the, the neighbor is connected to the devil somewhere. And just... Oh yeah, I've seen that theory. Um, even on my video, a lot of people were complaining about clickbait, which I'll admit it was a little baity. It was a little baity, but you know. There's nothing particularly wrong with that if it's not misleading. Um, yeah. But yeah, they, they literally, they just designed their game around around that pretty much. Which is probably why it did, it's did it been doing so well. Another game I didn't think was going to go so well is the Bindi and the Ink Machine. That's, been, oh, yeah. that's a big thing for yeah. just having one chapter and barely not a lot going on. That's that good. yeah, dude. That's like a freaking cult classic yeah. <laughs> already. <laughs> Came yeah. out of nowhere. Like I did it. I made the video on my channel. Not even the day it came out. It was like two days after it comes out. Uh, obviously, you know, I I clickbaited it with the neighbor. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I mean... shit got like seventeen thousand views. I was like, what the hell is going on? And uh, I mean, Ryan. Ryan actually told me to play it. Uh, he posted his videos before I did, and yeah, I mean that thing just blew up like crazy. It is not, uh, yeah, it's not that much going on, is it? Uh, is there in the game? Because I only play a little bit of it. It's like, Literally, you just the game is find. super. The game is super cool in terms of how it's designed and uh, the art. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, is nothing spectacular. Like literally, you find a handful of items. And then you go to one area, you get jump scared, and then you have to run to an exit, which which then is pretty cool with the level design. Like you fall through the little uh, floor or whatever, mm -hmm. and then you finish it out. And there's like, but again, it's the whole, wow, there's so many secrets. Like what's the story behind all these characters? Uh, what are the different, like I guess he put Easter eggs in there. I, I don't know that I found any of them, but, um, and just so much like you can build upon in that world and people want to and of course every pretty much everyone was selling it as a hello neighbor uh esque game in terms of the cryptic secrets and stuff that uh was associated with it but yeah it, it uh did a good job at appealing to people yeah it did appeal to people here it went because i like with that coming out there because there's another game coming out this year called cuphead that's like the cuphead 
Yeah, you never heard of Cuphead? I haven't heard of it. It's been. I haven't heard of Cuphead. It's been in the works for like two years now, but two? Cuphead is basically it's the same format as Benny the Ink Machine, like the way it looks and everything. That uh -huh. that whole cartoonish feel. But it's like a platform right. game. But it's a platform game. It's oh like yeah, I I have seen that. I'm I'm looking it up right now. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it looks dope. It, I heard it won like a ton of shit, mm -hmm. um, like indie awards or something. Yeah. Maybe I made that up. I like. Or it's it like... was really impressive at like when they displayed demos and stuff. It it has like an old um retro cartoon feel, but it's like a video game. Like the 1930s. That yeah yeah that is dope looking actually i'm looking at it yo i, I I'm, I'm gonna hop on cuphead thanks yeah. for thanks for pointing that out like i i saw i literally saw a demo of it but i never knew like what it was called and i just kind of forgot about it it looks pretty cool yeah the cuphead is I'm the style of it i like it yeah yeah, yeah when i saw literally. Beauty and the ink machine i all my dreams on a cuphead yeah there's literally only two people are, are making cuphead wow wow that's it. It's two brothers, Chad and Jared Moldenhauer. Har. Har. Hauer. Close enough. You, you did it. Good yeah. job. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna I'm tell you what, I'm gonna follow him on Twitter. You gonna follow them? <laughs> and <laughs> I'm gonna turn, turn on their freaking. Ooh, hold up. On their Twitter, it says we finally made a decision on Cuphead's release date. Oh, what? Yo, I know oh, it comes this out. This is breaking I, news. I know it comes out this year. Here exclusively live on the podcast. <laughs> uh, it, it just says mid twenty seventeen. Okay, wow. Thanks. So sometime. So <laughs> sometime this year. Some, sometime this year. That's annoying. Sometime this year. Okay. At least it's that this is, year because it's been in the works for two years now. That is dope. Well, to be fair, they actually <clears throat> made that announcement like five months ago. <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah. Uh, so it's not it's not breaking news in the slightest. No. Uh, but breaking news to me. Breaking news to me too. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm oh, excited wow. about this game. Yeah, I'm I'm a I'm gonna go ahead and follow them so I I know when it comes when out. It comes out. <laughs> That's what I do, by the way. If you guys like. I, I go out, I do research on like different games coming out and I you know, some of the YouTubers I follow will mention games that they're excited about. And then I'll go do research and I'll try to find the devs on Twitter. And then I follow them and turn on their mobile notifications. <laughs> so I'm alerted pretty much. It's kind of annoying when they tweet a lot. I'll admit. Like I actually did that with Bendy and the Ink Machine. Mm -hmm. He tweets like every two seconds. Every two seconds my phone's going off because I, I want to know when chapter two comes out, you know? Yeah. But it's kind of irritating when they when they uh, tweet a lot and you have notifications set turned on. Yeah, but, I, uh, I was gonna like yeah, I was gonna do the same thing, but then I saw how much he tweets and retweets. So I was like, nah, I'm just gonna. Yeah. 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 So but... I, I just turned on Cuphead. That, that's dope. This looks really cool. I'm like excited again. <laughs> yeah, pump. <laughs> At least that, um, at least they got, uh, greenlit on Steam, the Benny and the Ink Machine. They got greenlit. Yeah. 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 That's pretty dope. Wow. Nice. Again, after like a week of, a, of it releasing. Oh, yeah. I mean, they have so many massive YouTubers supporting it. It's, that, yeah, the that right there makes a game. Like, if a bunch of big YouTubers can support your game, you're pretty much gonna. You're pretty much set. Off. They already made a fan song for it, so. A couple of fan songs out of this one chapter. That's insane. Wow. Like, yeah. To be honest, though, I mean, there's not really a whole lot there in the chapter itself. Like, we don't really know anything yeah, <laughs> about we, these characters. We just or... know, like, Henry left the studio and he's back. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's true. I, I'm excited for the full game. Yeah, I'm excited just for the lore of it, more of it. Just don't yeah. does the ha just don't become a Scott Gaines. That's all I ask. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm glad actually he kind of laid off. Wait, what happened to him? He has a new book coming out. Book. I play games so I don't have to read Taylor. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just a black screen on his website. Yeah, he is shut down right now. You know he does huh. that. You know he shuts down it it randomly and then. Bam, it pops back up. I guess. But yeah, I'm in a surprise. Yeah, he just released it, like the new title of a, a new book series, like Twisted Silver or something. I don't know. Twisted something. 
the interesting. Switch too. So yeah, I'll be coming out book two. And you know what happened after book two? There's gonna be like sister location too. Probably. Yeah. Probably like he has to make money yeah. somehow. No offense. FNAF FNAF needs to take a take a break. Honestly. Is, I think this is the longest break he had. I'm yeah. Be oh, yeah. The break needs to extend a little bit. Yeah, this is a it is it. Yeah, he needs to relax. Take care of his child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> take care of yourself. <laughs> himself he has a child. Like he had a child in the middle of sister location time. Listen. Dude is so rich. He probably he doesn't have to do anything anymore. He really he just lifts a finger and everything's taken care of. It's like ah, there you go. He's just the yeah, most just... interesting mystery dude ever. Mm -hmm. Like he just comes he, and goes, I... and then if he comments, he deletes his comment. Oh, I think uh, I think he is really the one who started the whole secret um, lore cryptic culture on YouTube, where people want games like that. I mean, look at Tattletale. I mean, that shit went mega viral. Oh my god, freaking Tattletale. It's, it, yeah. it's a cool-ass game, and it's a lot different than FNAF. It's not even close to FNAF, but the the feel of it and, like, the lore, it's very similar. And I think it attracts um, the same, like, curiosity that, uh, that FNAF kind of started. And then Undertale got on that yeah. hype and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't think I never played that game. Story played it. Kind of. I played a little bit of it, but I'm like, I didn't get the I, lore of it for me. I, yeah, I think my problem with it is it's like, it's a really good game. I like it, but it just... It lost me so many times. It gets... Yeah, and it's like, when you try to follow one specific path, like pacifist, and then like, there's pacifist and genocide, and then there's the mix. When you try to follow one path, it just gets... Like, no hectic. offense, it gets kind of boring. Mm -hmm. It gets boring and hectic, and then you just don't know what to focus on, or you, I really don't even understand the ending of Undertale either way. <laughs> either all the paths you get, I don't understand the ending. But everyone's, like, gathering up all these clues and stuff of the war of it, and, like, who's human, who's not human. It's actually connected to Earthbound. I don't know what they're connecting it to right now. I don't know. It's just been weird. No clue. Yeah. A struggle. It really is. Uh, other news that just came out today. Uh, there's a new Overwatch character named Orserina. And Orserina. And apparently she sucks. Orserina. <laughs> Hello, Orserina of Time. Uh, everybody's Was that a game? Did somebody say Ocarina of Time? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Zelda came out today. Wait. Too. Yeah, uh, what? Tomorrow, I think. I think you are right. Oh wait, tomorrow. Well, some people got the early copy. You know those YouTubers that get the early copy, so. Yeah, Ultra Arena of Time was a game oh, that look. came out, like, forever ago. Dang. Maybe but I, that. I, I, I'm not really familiar with the uh, Zelda Me universe. Me you know, The only game I really played a lot was um, the one where it's like a cartoon Zelda. Um... Wind Waker? I was about to say, I think you're thinking of Wind Waker. I've watched yeah. more than yeah. I, cause like, I grew up with a brother who's eight years older than me, so like, that's how I got most oh. of my gaming stuff. But, <laughs> like, like I distinctively remember always watching my brother and my parents play Zelda, specifically Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and Twilight Princess. Okay. And then they also, they also played God of War, like, hmm. that's another one I specifically remember, and I don't know why. <laughs> Gee, I don't know. Because you were like three years old watching this poor man's head getting ripped I'm, off. I'm pretty sure like I was like, I don't think I was that young. <laughs> I mean, I'm 17, so <laughs> I don't think I was that young. He could have been. He could have been 12, uh, 11. I, let me look. Uh, first of all, let me look up when this game came out. <laughs> I spelled all of this wrong. This is fine. I love autocorrect. God of what? Uh, okay, so it came out in 2005, so I was at least six. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I was at least six, <laughs> but I think I was more like eight. Yeah. But still, like, okay. that okay. game is that game is really weird. Like, yeah. I never really played it that much. It's kind of weird. Kind of creepy. Mm -hmm. Lots of death and destruction. The, the yeah. next Walking Dead Telltale series episode comes out this month. 
Yeah, I heard it came out already for the console. Is that yeah. true? Yes, yeah, so you can buy the physical copy of The Walking Dead right now on console. Because I had okay. to, cause I had to set up the that's, display for it yesterday at my job. <laughs> that's that's pretty upsetting. It really is. Not really. I don't really care. But a lot of people are upset about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like. I really don't know what happened because it. I kind of slowly forgot all about it because it's been. When did when when did the it even came out The Walking Dead for the New Frontier? It was like December. Mm, no, I think it was before that. Yeah. Maybe November. Yeah, I don't remember. It came out forever ago that I forgot all about it. And I was like, man, when's the yeah. new Walking Dead episode coming out? <laughs> right. Because it ended yeah. that I... cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. Like always. I, uh, yeah, that game has gotten not the best reviews in, in the world. Yeah. But I, I like it. I think, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not that emotionally attached to, like, the, the story and the game itself yeah. or the previous games like I didn't even play the first one all the way through so uh, I don't know people are like getting upset because like they're saying your choices don't matter and stuff like that but mm. that might be true yeah. I don't know yeah that is I, I just tried to I just try to ignorantly enjoy things for what they are yeah. <laughs> and not dig too deep trying to find reasons to uh to get upset about stuff another game that's always been i've been seeing all the time is dead by daylight i haven't played it before but people have been like live streaming it like every day for like three months straight or so really like i didn't think that it's a game that you can play all the time like that like 24 7 i feel like <laughs> huh. that's weird so as i was like, i thought that was interesting that i just dead see by people daylight. yeah that people are like milking it in so much like it's just their thing that's all they stream is just dead by daylight or that's all their videos are yeah. right and it's getting a little annoying i was like there's other games out in the world besides this but that's not only I one see. only dead by daylight only only dead by daylight yeah i didn't really play that game much it's okay uh, my friend Friday the 13th is much. better i really want to play Friday the 13th. I need oh it's great I need i'm excited to come out. I need to play that. <laughs> yeah. All right, I, it's, think it's that, awesome. I think that's all the top gaming news is right now, so we can move on to the Twitter questions. Gaming news. <laughs> Thank <Okay>. you. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, that was a little jingle. Like I was, I expect you to put like a little jingle underneath that. I got you. Now. I got you. Slowly too. bring it up, and then <laughs> yeah, obviously would fade to black for commercial break, and then we come back. Okay. <laughs> Fade to black. Because you said podcasts have commercials. Yeah, podcast. Oh, podcast off commercials? No. <laughs> yeah. Where's this going? YouTube? Yeah, this is going on YouTube. Yeah. Podcast. There's commercials on YouTube, girl. What are you talking oh, about? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ads. Yeah, that's true. You, you're right. You're not wrong. You're right. You're right. Like, what are you going to display for people to watch, like, see visually? Oh, they. Like an image we, of something? Yeah, we have a podcast uh, logo that we have i can like post it to the chat okay uh can i really post it to the chat do i have the settings still you should i should because i always use it we got shotgun <laughs> mcgee over here oh <laughs> that should be the new uh, <laughs> podcast poster. yeah oh that's dope courtesy of the tiny taco oh gosh be tore. i'm sorry a hi siri <laughs> So Things cool. happen. That looks just like you. Thanks. Thanks, man. Wait, who's the ninja? Oh, that's our dude, uh, Shadow. He never revealed his face on the channel. He's the only one. So, he's oh. the ninja dude. That's, that's how funny. people label him as. The one downside about me is I change my hair so much. Yeah. But... I'll never look the same. Yeah. <laughs> but her character's always gonna look like that. Which one are you? She's the one, she's the one on the left of me. Yes. To your left yeah. or my left? To my like if left. you're look like if you're looking at the picture. The dark hair? No, she's not wearing a scarf. I I'm the only one wearing glasses. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, Taylor, <laughs> Taylor, that's your right. Are you crazy? I, well, I'm talking about if you look at it. Like, no, if you're if looking I at the picture. That's why I said your left or my left. <laughs> I meaning said you my... in the picture or me as the observer. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay. 
I, I see. To... I see you. You see. Okay, I, you see I what you're putting down. Yeah. <laughs> that was a crisis we just had. I'm glad we <laughs> resolved that. Uh, oh yeah, something else we were supposed to talk about the podcast before Twitter questions is like, how excited are you for Pax East, Swollen? Oh. Uh... <laughs> so much excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. There's gonna be so many YouTubers, uh, like my friends going. I don't really care about YouTubers, but uh my people i know that are gonna be there a lot more than last year yeah i'm so i'm pretty stoked too honestly i don't even know how i'm gonna hang out with everyone right because literally everyone is there pretty much that i talk to in the youtube sphere is going yeah so i think so same here Long I just say, got... long I say hey to you. That's all that matters. That's all you. <laughs> hey. Hey. No, we'll 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 have to do something. We'll get dinner or something. Okay. I'm sure we'll all go out. I'd be okay. down for that, dude. I'm gonna be. I we me and my two friends, B and Savannah, we'd be there for five days in Boston. Oh, Jesus. I'm so jealous. Cause of I'm sorry, you sir. Cause this our spring break, so. Yeah. We're just gonna stay down there. That's up there. Nice. I mean, up there. That's up, true. Up oh, it is up. It's up for a swollen too. <laughs> nice. I Let's just... be honest. Up, down, they're arbitrary. <laughs> the earth is... it, it, just if just I'm upside down, it'll there. be down. The earth is flat. Gosh, you guys. Up is, up is towards the sky. <laughs> arbitrarily, which could also be down, depending on how the earth is rotating. Actually, it's never up or down. It's always out to the side. So, all right, time for Twitter <laughs> questions. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Jingle. It's, yeah, okay. all the jingles. <laughs> all right, uh, from bag of trash at obviously Oompa. Can you do cruise for a triangle, please? And thank you. What? <laughs> She wants me to do her homework. No. No. <laughs> she me. Snapchats me asking me homework questions. <laughs> it ain't, it ain't me. And I answer them, but <laughs> now I'm I'm retiring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a tutor anymore. You should start charging money. Be like five dollars yeah, per question. I should. Hey, I should. <laughs> and also, this is also said that? obviously Oompa. Oh, and also, also, you should get on Discord more often or do a Omega thing. And then you can help me with my homework real quick. From yeah, I can't. <laughs> no. Sorry. Yeah, my Discord chat is dead. Because I'm never on it. I keep looking at messages from your fans being like, when is Solon coming on Discord? I'm like, I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I'm not his agent. I'm just a mod in the Discord chat. <laughs> I'm just here I'm to have sorry. a good time. Yeah, it was a good idea when I made it, and then I was like, wait, I'm antisocial. And <laughs> I just never went on. Literally, I don't talk to anybody unless I'm, it's like a close friend, you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel. Um, like, on Discord, like, and when that happens, it has to be a scheduled thing, kind of like this, or, uh, like, I'll, I'll get messaged on Twitter first. Like, I'm never just on Discord by default, so... That's true. And then I forget it. And then I just forget because I'm old. <laughs> Maybe like 50k or something. Omegle hunt or something. Discord. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. From <laughs> from that at Grizzly Place, pineapple on pizza? Yes. 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 I do. I, yes. I do enjoy <laughs> that on occasion. It's so good. <laughs> I was about to question our friendship, but we said no. You know, it's one of those things where I never get it, but I like it. I don't know. Yes. It's like I just don't think about it. Me. It's that so is, good on pizza. Pineapple on pizza and then barbecue chicken pizza are my, like, go-to. Mm. Weird. Okay, but could you put pineapple on barbecue chicken pizza? You could. I think it would be you good. You could. I think it would be too sweet. Yeah. I think it would be good. Yeah, because the barbecue well, sauce. Depends. It depends. Are you making it, like, homemade? Are you ordering it? Because if you made it, like, you could use a different barbecue sauce that's not sweet. You right, you right. All barbecue sauce is sweet. What are you talking about? Not if it's, like, you know, super spicy. Or, like, <laughs> Super spicy. Super spicy. <laughs> super spicy. Yeah, okay. I could see that, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm a firm believer in 
less is more. more I, is you less. know, sometimes I just want me a cheese pizza. Or, or, Same. You know, pine, if you want to put pineapple on there, that's cool. I don't necessarily need to like have all the pepperonis and and all that. So as long as we have like that four white cheese pizza we had when I came up to Ohio, like that pizza, that pizza was oh, pretty yeah. good. Oh yeah, that that was different. <laughs> I, I I didn't care too much for it just because of the sauce. Like it was like a white sauce, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of weird. I I prefer a nice saucy red it's pizza. Saucy. I like saucy red or saucy barbecue. Anything yeah. saucy like that. <laughs> Buffalo uh, chicken uh, pizzas are good too. Oh my god. Uh, yes. Okay, now that's the type of pizza I think pineapple would be good on because it's like sweet and spicy. Like, yeah, honestly, just you. put pineapple on that. everything. <laughs> Pit off of a pineapple pit. At toast. Your papa, pica, pipe, pepper. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> At toasted shoes, how do I become big and strong like you? Drugs. Drugs. You just, uh, you know, you know, he knows. He, he knows. Yeah. It's drugs, you guys. Do you drugs in school? He's, no, no, no. He's just, he knows, you know. It's, it, it doesn't need to be explained. Or, uh, he knows. He knows. He knows. Just, you know, just think yeah. about it. Joe, you know. Uh, at Joe, Joe knows. Joe knows. Just, Let's just say that. <laughs> now everyone bombarded Joe and said, you know. At Curry Plays, why don't you support my choice of being a carrot? I don't think our society is ready for that <laughs> step. I don't think so either. I, I think we need to wait until the con all the countries of the world are on board with the whole gay marriage thing, and then we can talk carrots. <laughs> Come because I gotta get me concerned. Like I don't know what kind of carrot he is. Is like is he the baby carrot, natural carrot, uh, processed carrot? Oh, he's got a baby carrot, all right, Taylor. Oh. Oh. He's got a baby carrot, if you know what I'm saying. I, I know. What I see what you're putting down. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Rosy Curry. Cool and crunchy. Yeah. This is the Ew. this is the third podcast that Curry got roasted in. <laughs> <laughs> roast I roast them every time, every chance I get. And is it is it a coincidence that we started talking about Curry right after we finished talking about pineapples? Uh. I mean, <laughs> his, 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 yeah, his, yeah, his, his hair, hair. kind of looks like. Yes, I feel you. <laughs> he lives in a pineapple under the sea. Curry Me. place. <laughs> <laughs> Curry. Curry. All right, at Artist Mystery 23, what is your biggest weakness? I, I have none. He's freaking antisocial, doesn't he? <laughs> no, I, uh, people. people. I got, I got weak, I got weaknesses. I, uh, I think, I don't know. I get, I get depressed sometimes, straight up. Mm. I guess that's a weakness. Yeah. I think everybody gets depressed. I feel like that's not even special. This is true. Um, we all, like, you can't be happy every day. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and on the, on the good days that's when I record a shit ton because then I know I'm going to be depressed for like two or three days straight so <laughs> oh. I have to make sure I have shit to do and then I just basically edit in turmoil until I feel better again mm. just kidding I, I don't get depressed too often or I don't know what's the difference between being sad and being depressed is there a difference there, there is there is sad is like with depression it's Time for yeah. Urban Dictionary. Oh God! Like, yeah, it's okay. Well, like I get sad a lot, some for no reason though, and then um, I don't think I have like long-term depression or anything. Like normally, I only feel bad for maybe a day or so. Uh, so I guess that's that's a weakness. Um, when I looked up depression, I'm, it gave me economic backgrounds. Well, I think like depression is <laughs> long term, and it's like. A lot of times depression happens for that reason. Uh huh. It just it's like it's there, and it's sometimes it's always in the back. But like sadness, it's like normally you can pinpoint what's making you sad, or it's just uh -huh. that little uh, feeling. It's like oh man, but yeah. it's like even depression, like it it can feel just like sadness does, where it's just something really small. But it's not always explainable. It's not always easy to detect, and it's uh -huh. sometimes just happens. It's just like you can be fine one second, and the next you're like. I guess that's how I'd explain it. I feel like shit. <laughs> I so. feel like I don't know. 
That uh, time management, I'm not very good at. I'm getting better at it, but I that's a pretty big weakness, honestly. I'm just getting everything done and trying to have a life and balance everything. That's kind of an issue for me as well. I have a lot of weaknesses, honestly. We could dedicate an episode to weaknesses. <laughs> Literally well, me. Swollen Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a depressing <laughs> episode. Oh. Just have that like dark build too. Be like, hey guys, yeah, the gamer. whole thing is just desaturated. Just do the Jack guy vlog. He's like, I'm not gonna high five the air because it's a serious vlog. If you saw that vlog of Jack, no, I didn't bother. Is uh, that the PewDiePie one? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't bother. Oh, I, I'm just I'm tired of people talking about it, honestly. Yeah. I and see. I don't think he had anything. To add to the conversation, so nah, he just got bashed on big beauty star, and that's it. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, people, no offense, like they seem like cool dudes, but him and Mark, <laughs> they both talk in circles. Whenever they talk about something serious, they say the same thing over and over, yes, for like 16 minutes straight, yes, and then, and then at, in the end, you really didn't learn anything new from when you just clicked on the video, so. I didn't really bother. I just watched H3H3's videos on it, and that was about it. Yeah. I agree. My biggest yeah. weakness is when I come to acting, I read my lines way too fast. Cause I get well, so slow the fuck down, Taylor. I always try. Take a chill pill. Hold I, I try. I try. Hold up. I be like, oh my gosh, my sister got murdered. And then I'd be like, just calm down. I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't know why. I think it's just because I'm getting nervous on the camera, so I just speak super fast. Yeah, probably. A lot of people do that. When like, they talk in front of people, they talk really fast. Me. Me. Well, Not get... me, because I'm a professional. Get out of here. <laughs> Anti I'm a get out of here, antisocial. At, at Papa Oomsty, at Oompa Bill, what chemicals are they putting in water to turn the frogs gay? Cocaine. Okay. Champagne, cocaine, gasoline. You know, I I thought about this for a long time, mm -hmm. and um, the only thing I can come up with is uh, maybe they were born that way. You know, like who are we to judge? Like that they're Scary drinking emotion. something bad, and that's turning them gay. Like they're catching the gay. What is this? Why why can't we be a liberal, tolerant society and accept? Frog's sexual preferences. Maybe yeah. it's Maybelline. <laughs> either that, or either that, or it's probably Hillary Clinton's uh, hot sauce. Ha! Ooh, that just sounds like an innuendo, and I don't like that. <laughs> anyway, <Ooh. laughs> her hot <laughs> sauce. I don't like her hot sauce. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't want to put. Puts it on everything. I don't want to put pineapples in her sauce. Ew. That's probably that's probably hot sauce all over, Bill. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is wrong. I am a child. <laughs> You're literally a senior. I'm uh, 17. I am a child. <laughs> You're turning 18 in two weeks. Shut that up. Abort. <laughs> abort. 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 Permission. Me at my at, house. Abort. Uh, at Filippo. Wait. The Pixie. I forgot how to pronounce the first name. Philo, yeah. dude. Philo, it's Philo. I Philo. Philo. It's Philo. I honestly, that's really bad because we're, we're fr I, I'd say we're friends. Like we we talk now and the, every now and then, and uh, I, I I don't know how you pronounce that if it's Philo or Philo. I'm Whoops. gonna say Philo, because okay. it rounds up Milo. Philo. <laughs> Philo pick. Okay, that sounds that sounds right, but maybe it's not. <laughs> she correct us. Which is your favorite toe? Hashtag weird question. Oh. See, the problem with narrowing this list down is that all of my toes are perfect. Uh, I, honestly, I should be like a foot model, I think. Lucky. Ooh, Lucky. If I, had to pick, if I had to pick my favorite toe, probably my big toe, because I'd be pretty screwed without it. <clears throat> yeah, because um, you'd be off-center if you saw your big toe. You can't, yeah, you can't balance worth a damn without your big toe, so I'd say my big toe. I'd say my pinky toe. Cause I had a pinky toe. Yeah, cause I had a weird thing with it. Like when I was little, I always messed with it. I was like, "What would happen if this pinky toe would just fall off?" 
<laughs> oh my god. You just wondered that to yourself? Yes, because it's so like tiny and it <laughs> it grew it grew weird. I got it fixed, but it grew weird that it always hid behind one of my other toes. So I don't see it all the mm -hmm. time. So when I wake up in the morning and if I don't see it, I, I used to figure out I was a child. <laughs> and I'd be like, What oh happened god. to my pinky toe? <laughs> Honestly, I have baby toes, so like I don't like any of my toes. They can all fall off right now. Yeah. <laughs> you will right, then. Literally, literally, like, have you ever seen a baby's foot? Like, you know how, like, their toes don't, like, extend all the way? They're just kind of, like, meh. Yeah. Yeah. Baby that's, toes? That's my toes. Like, you know, like, a child's foot, like, before their toes extend and, like, become adult feet? <laughs> yeah. That's my feet, and it's embarrassing. <laughs> you, can't, you can't stretch your toes out? They don't, they don't do that. Like, they just, I don't they think They're curled I, up still? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> have you seen a physical therapist? <laughs> It's not like they're curled up as in they're curling under. I mean, like, you know, from the top of my foot, they look normal. And then uh -oh. you look at the bottom of my foot, and it's just, like, they still got that little, like, crease crevice thing. Oh, I and got you. Like, midget toes. And, I mean, it doesn't help that I also have a small foot. I wear a five and a half in little boys. Wow. That's incredible. <laughs> so, like, That's can just... I lose all of my toes just so I can be, like, toeless? Toeless. Okay. At the more you know. The Super Melon Bros at I'm mowing four or five six. What is your favorite game from your childhood? Obviously Luigi's Mansion. Oh shit. Come on now. That, that was my favorite. That was like my first that, I think that was my first ever game, uh or console game at least that I ever had, so that was always that was fun. The first game I ever played was Mortal Kombat three. <laughs> uh, it was a glorious Mortal moment. Kombat. Fight. Yeah, I had um, that GameCube, dude, before Nintendo started getting dumb. Mm -hmm. I had a GameCube, which was pretty sweet. And, uh, yeah, I had that. I had that, uh, was it Sonic? Sonic Hedgehog? Some, the, the 3D game, what is it called? Oh. Sonic something 2. Sonic. The Shadow. I don't know. You know, I know what I'm what, talking about. I know about. what you're talking about, though. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was an amazing game, or right, I mean I liked it a lot back then. Uh, yeah. Mortal Kombat always had a special place in my heart. I I entered competitions with it and everything. Me and our brothers wow. won. Me and our brothers won a couple times. It was just damn. It was the family team of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Haven't, haven't played in a while. I I have it on PC. The XL. It's, it was that's good. It's pretty good. The new one? Yeah, the new one. Oh, we should play. I have it too. Dude, we should. I get. I need to re-download it since I got the new PC and stuff, so it's probably not lag now. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, we should try. I, I suck. You'd probably beat my ass. So. I got you, man. I'm like, I'm a little rusty on the XL, so you probably will beat me. <laughs> I'm a little rusty. Listen, I'd beat you both. Yeah. I am Victoria, top quality. Victoria, like, rephrase that statement. I have... I said I would beat you, but wait, wait. <laughs> Why am I restating it? What did I say wrong? <laughs> you're, you're figuring out when you get older. Ah, uh, shut you little bit. <laughs> Listen, I will assault you both. How about that? Uh, catch me outside. Stop. Calm your hormones down. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm li literally... Uh, are you, why are you guys roasting me right now? Cause, cause Curry's not here. So you can't what did I him. What did I do to you guys? <laughs> Just a small child. Why? Why must you hurt the small child? Oh, don't pull the small child part <laughs> out. No, you can't do that. When it's now. convenient to you. <laughs> no. No. You don't want to be known as the hormone imbalanced teen. <laughs> Honestly, get out. Where's the door? No, leave. the door. No. Leave. Take the window and leave. Somebody else, like, I, we roast, like, I work in a studio, so we roast our camera guy a lot. Because he does stupid stuff like this. I posted it on the Discord that we was like, we have a fire in the back of our studio. Like, so we just cook oh hot God. dogs and stuff. And I was yeah. like, Mike just put one coal in the thing to make it go big. He's like, alright, so he threw the whole freaking bag in there. Jesus. Me. Like, and I was like, Mike, this is why we roast you all the time. 
We roast you because you tried to roast us. <laughs> um, what happened? We're so mean to Mike. Honestly, what's <laughs> Mike and not me? I was like, I was like one time, like one time, uh, this this guy who works there, his name is Joel. He's the writer, and he's a comedian writer. And but the number one question he hates is when people ask him. Um, tell us a joke, and then finally he came up to us. He said, "Guys, I have a joke," and I was like, "Is it Mike?" I was so proud of myself. Boom! Right. Oh, oh, oh! All right, back to the question wow. from Roasted. from Ice Coffee at OW3 Love. Uh, kind of person, kind of don't care. But when you were younger, what did you think you were gonna be when you grow up? Grew up. Uh, I thought I was gonna be somebody who worked at Taco Bell slash, uh, professional snowboarder slash, astronaut. Uh, uh, I don't know if I was big on the astronaut thing. I just, I honestly I forget like slash hockey player, slash like it was like a bunch of sport things, and then talk Taco Bell maybe because I liked Taco Bell back then. I think it's shit now, but. Uh -huh. I think that's probably what it, what it was. I never really had many visions for myself when I was a child, like legitimately. Same. So. Literally, yeah. I was like, I just want to work in the advertisement area, clickbait and shit. <laughs> really? Yeah. I was like, I'm in, I'm marketing right now, and then I love filming and acting too, so I'm doing that too. So I'm getting like a minor in film study. So hopefully something will go up my way. Nice. I don't even remember what I wanted to do when I was a little kid. I don't think I wanted to do anything. I think I just wanted to live. <laughs> just just eat. eat. Yeah. Honestly, like I don't like I honestly don't remember. I know at one point I wanted to work at Walmart because my mom worked at Walmart, but like. I just wanted to eat because Shaggy and Scooby Doo ate, ate a lot. Of yeah, I was one of the solved mysteries to go around the world and eat food everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> At uh, beach you? If you had a tattoo, where and what and why? I wouldn't have a tattoo. I'm not a tattoo person. That's what I said, and then I got a tattoo. <laughs> mm, I have oh, really? a tattoo. Yeah, it's really tiny. Me and my friend got matching tattoos. It's just theater mask. Mask. Excuse oh, me. Okay. Let me start. My, yeah, it's really tiny. We have we have this thing called Friday Thirteenth, the uh, dollar ta tattoo day. On Friday Thirteenth, all the locations can do thirteen dollar tattoos. So me and friend got huh. those. Interesting. It's pretty yeah. good. It took two minutes to for them to do it. <laughs> Lucky. Uh, she she freaked out. I just pretend I was dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How does it hurt a lot? I heard it, it just a lot. it just feels like it depends again it does depend where you get it at because she had yeah it, she had it on her ankle so it's strictly like bone right there i had it on my calf uh... i had it on my calf so it'd be like the most fat so but on my calf it felt like he's just pinching you a thousand times yeah just get annoying yeah. that he's pinching you yeah but the bone and she said it felt like it was scraping her yeah Ooh. um my tattoo took eight hours <laughs> but how many sessions three sessions Jesus. It How hurt. big is it? Um, hold on. I can actually send that in the... It's not... I mean, okay. It's not... I didn't think it was that big, but apparently for a first tattoo, it's kind of huge. It's cute. It's kind of mm. big, because my first tattoo is, is the size of a quarter. Mine takes up the whole space between my shoulder blades. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that explains it. <laughs> and they kind of... It does... Okay. It depends. The pain depends, first of all, of what's happening you know outlining oh it doesn't hurt kind of like a um just like a cat scratch i guess um wow color <laughs> color, hurts really, color and solid black is what hurts basically because it's like you have to saturate it and it's multiple needles going in the same spot over and Ooh. over and over <sighs> and you have to saturate that, it so it doesn't all come out yeah that looks rough and, it's that, a yin, it's a meow yang it's a kit yang. Basically. My next one yeah. is going to be Ocarina of Time Legend of Zelda themed, so. Nice. Wow. 
Where's that gonna go? My forearm. Metal as fuck, bro. And then my Harry Potter one's gonna go on my other forearm. Oh my god. I I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be a nerd. I don't even care anymore. I'm just hey, stick it to the one tattoo. I'll probably get a sleeve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same. Yeah. Also I'm at edgy. Sh at Shy K Cook, do you know me? Yeah, of course Should I know I? you. Are you crazy? I, I don't. You crazy? <laughs> you crazy? Should I, Should I yeah. know you? Yeah, I know she is. Do I, do I want to know you? Do I, I don't know. All right. Yeah, you probably do. She's, she's pretty nice. You, you probably do want to know her, actually. Oh, okay, cool. Just saying. I mean, Just yeah. saying. Just throwing it out there. All right. All right, cool. That means I'm just going to follow her, and let's see. Just let's just... Her. There you go. You got to follow. Yeah, we got to follow. <laughs> Okay, excellent. We did it. We <laughs> did it. We follow people. Oh, guys, I lost the question. This is good. what happens when I follow people. That, good. I'm so proud of you for this one. Uh, you realize you sent the link to me in the chat. Oh, uh, well, I found it. I'm just stalked his page for a second. Good job. <laughs> All right. At Happy Cupcake 8, how old is your kitty? Um, Really old. What, she's like 16, maybe? Hey, my cat's 16. Damn. Our director's yeah. cat is 14, and he threw up all during the middle of set one day. Jeez. Yeah. Aww. There was so much yeah. that I was like, are you sure this came from one cat? <laughs> it was just, that's all I was, that's all I was concerned about. It was, he's a tiny, he's a tiny, ten. he's a tiny ass cat, but he vomits like a bucket full of shit. There was so much. It was so it much. Was all over the place. It was. It was like, are you sure you just came from just I've one cat? Scarred. That's oh. crazy. Yeah, my cat pukes a lot too. Yeah, my my oldest one's eighteen, almost nineteen, and lots of vomit when they eat. <laughs> yep. Next question from the and... Happy Cupcake. Okay. How long have you and Miss Swollen been together? <laughs> That's funny. Um, like a, a little over a year. Aww. Like literally, an of official year, if you can even call it that. Uh, like last month. So. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you still have to give it her your channel. It went fast, honestly. Huh? You still have to give her your channel now. It's I have official. to give her my channel. Yeah, yeah, it's official. Yeah, she had she made that one video with you. Now you have to give her your channel. It's yeah. It's it's coming. I'll I'll give it to her soon. Don't be worried. <laughs> we'll be ready for the Miss Swollen Gamer channel. I don't know where she wants to name. <laughs> yeah. What is your favorite video game? Still from Happy Cupcake. Fave with video game. Fave with video game. I don't know. The Last of Us is pretty dope. That's like my go-to answer. Number I two coming game. out. Oh yeah, dude! I'm so excited. Although I, I don't think it's coming out for like two more years. Yeah. Honestly, Sucks. worth we'll it. Wait. We'll, we'll wait. <laughs> like, yeah, I could be dead by then. I want to experience it. <laughs> uh, what are you planning on dying? Are you planning on dying in two, two years? years? No. Like, no, like, like a, the day you, before the last of us. Things don't go the way you plan. You're right. You're right. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> you try hard enough, you won't die. Yeah, sometimes when you try your best, it's not good enough. Next one, best meme of 2016. <laughs> that's, that's so sad. Well, that was depressing. <laughs> that was like, I mean, we, we just talked about depression three questions ago. Okay. So, who? There was more than three, I think. Best meme of 2016. Questions. The dab. Oh my god, no. Why are you always lying? Hold on, let me why think. The dab, obviously. <laughs> I said, I like why you always lying, guy. He's pretty. Uh, hold on, let me, let me look up some memes real quick. <laughs> What in tarnation? Oh, that's my favorite one of this year so far. It's all the what in tarnation. What in tarnation. What I went through a bunch of them. What in fire nation. Freaking avatar. Uh, Why let's, you... let's look at. I don't oh, want to subscribe to Vogue's new. Why am I on Vogue for me? <laughs> this just feels wrong. While you look for your memes, we go on to the next question from at Ellie the Only. On a scale from one potato, what is your favorite color of the alphabet? 
That's that's not a logical question. Yeah, I don't I answer that. Uh, alpha beta. I don't know. There you go. I refuse to answer that. <laughs> and I spout a lot of nonsense, but <laughs> that is just where I draw the line. Uh, potato. <laughs> Tomato. Potato. At Aaron Potata. Reagan three, just how swollen is the swollen gamer? I uh, know. You have to find out at PAX. But uh, ba -ba -ba. at least he doesn't have a carrot. Baby carrot. Uh, I know, right? No babies. No baby carrots. No baby carrots in here. Yeah, I got like the the organic, uh, full grown long shoot carrot. <laughs> the type rabbit from Winnie the Pooh would snack on. You know, rabbit from Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Or he, she, was it he? I think it's supposed to be he, know. but I always thought it was a she because Tigger liked her, and I thought, you know, I don't know. Oh, I thought I, maybe. I can't pick a meme. There's so many good ones. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> at, at Ellie, the only again, can you sing happy birthday to for me? Today's my birthday. And that was like okay. February. Yeah, that was like February 27th. It's happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> Happy birthday. Does it end there? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. <laughs> just, uh, just I don't got, know what just happened, but I'm confused. It got so scared. quiet, I was like, are we done? <laughs> I'm scared. At Lonely Space King, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Wow! <laughs> just for a day trip, just to go sightseeing, I like to go to hell. Hell. Um, I don't know. Miss Swollen wants shopping. to go to Morocco, so I would probably just go there. It doesn't really matter to me where I travel. I just like traveling in general and seeing new things, seeing new places, having Boston. new experiences. Boston. 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 So yeah, yeah I, would, I guess I'd go to Morocco to make Miss Swollen happy. Aww. Goals. Goals. See, I say all, I say all the right things. <laughs> at the right time, though? At, yeah, at the right time, though? Yeah, of course. Of course. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Lit, lit, lit. And last question. At Sir Truckalock, what is life? Bro, I'm, I'm still trying to figure that one out. 42. <laughs> uh, the basic. Who knows? Life is still trying to be defined till today by biologists, so. We don't really know if we're alive or not, or what constitutes life, or if life can take on different forms than what we define it as. So, you know, if biologists, if professional scientists can't answer that question, and I highly doubt a stupid YouTuber could. Mm. Ba -dum -ba. Ba -dum -ba. All right, is that it? Yeah. Time. That all the questions? That's all the questions. Oh my god. Because the rest are the rest were just repeats. Okay. But yeah. Thanks for the questions, y'all. Hey. Uh, okay. Well, now that was it's, fun. Now it's time for the the end to to end the podcast with the game of is it real or is it fake? Uh, okay. Animated. Okay. So, yeah, I already I already proved my superiority when it came to this game earlier Listen. on. <laughs> Listen. Our okay. challenger today is Swollen versus Victoria. And I'm gonna lose. <laughs> yeah, you are. First With that one, attitude, you will. The first one to five wins. Believe in yourself. Oh, that's a challenge. It's a challenge. The challenge. Do you set the challenge, Victoria? Yeah, I know. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, Today's goal. So in this real, uh, real or fake game is where I'll be reading off a paragraph, and they have to say, is it a real anime or is it a fake anime? So let's do this. Uh. A sadistic twin, a twin kills boyfriend and then puts a group of friends together, erases their memories of each other, and they kill each other. Real. I, I was gonna say real. You can still say it. <laughs> I feel like I should say the opposite always. No, you say what you feel. I'm gonna go with real. Yes, it's real. Does it say what anime it is? I think it's. I watch anime. Do you really? <laughs> No, it doesn't say what anime it is. It just says it's a real anime. I feel I really want to say it's Dangarampa. That's what it sounds like to me. But don't quote me. 
Like, but, it sounds like something I've heard of. I mean, I haven't watched enough anime to know, but it's like, it sounds like something I've heard on Tumblr. Yeah. Yeah, I don't watch anime. I thought you'd guess. <laughs> Uh, a group of girls that goes to school that teaches you how to fight monsters with cool uh, cool weapons. Real. Real. Yes, it's Ruby from Rooster Teeth. I was about to say, that I know exactly what that is. <laughs> Alright, next one. Demon with wings stole kidnappers and angels and put him slash her in a cage and keeps them as a pet because he is... It just stops there. Real. Uh, not real. And Victoria's correct. No! Oh, I got three right so far. Hey. I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> you disappointed all your friends. I'm gonna throw up. Okay, continue. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, love shipping boys gets super hot. Four boys, one girl's fight for her love, but she only likes anime boys. True. True. Real, yeah. I mean. <laughs> Yeah. True. Real. Like true. true. Real. <laughs> yeah. It's called Kiss Him, Not Me. Four points. I'm about to have five if I get the next one. Likes anime boys, huh? Yeah. If I get one All more right, point, let's I win. Go. Let's go. You, know, you think you scare me? <laughs> if I get, get one more point, I win. Did you get spooked yet? I don't care. Okay. Nine. Pressure. Nine people have don't this. You, nine people don't have, you have homework to do. Oh. Oh my God! Don't you got like adult things to do. I don't know. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're losing to a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like the I Wikipedia know. challenge all over again. <laughs> I lose a lot. Alright, let's go. Nine people have to escape a sinking ship in nine hours by finding the number nine door. Video game, nine hours, nine per person, nine doors. Not real. Fake. Correct. Oh, so she wins. By yeah, she now. she wins. By <laughs> no, <laughs> you lost to a child. You lost to a child. How does that so make you feel? <laughs> so you need Depressed. to get good. Oh, uh, my depression is festering. Oh no! Uh, do you need to talk Thank about you. it? Thanks for nothing. <laughs> no, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> do you need Do you need some support? Do you, you need, need this? You need this will be hug. a therapy session. Come on, go <laughs> therapy. <laughs> We're here for you, the swollen gamer. I can do everything by myself. <laughs> I'm Superman. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. You keep telling yourself that. Uh, look at yourself <laughs> in the mirror every day and tell yourself that you are Superman. Yeah, I'm Superman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Superman. <laughs> I have depression. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> what? <laughs> that, that just made me laugh. That just broke that's, me. That's, that's broke illegal. Me. That's illegal. <laughs> All right, uh, we should like wrap up this podcast. So, you got any last words you want to say, Swollen? Subscribe to the Swollen Gamer. Yep, I put all the links. That's it. <laughs> to subscribe. Right, wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> to subscribe to Swollen Gamer. Uh, you can find Swollen at PAX. It's Saturday. Oh right? yeah. At the Pack D's BB. Pack yeah, D's. Saturday. I should be there as long as I, you know, don't die. Don't alive. die. Yeah, so don't die. So yeah. don't oversleep. Yeah, don't. See y'all at Pax. See y'all in Pax. Everybody said bye. Peace Goodbye, out. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. <laughs>